What's going on everybody, Dragos here, and welcome to another month that means another Mega Geek Box unboxing video. Today we got a new contender in here, and a huge one. And what I mean by huge is seriously huge. There's a loot crate on top, here's the new one. Pretty freaking big box. But yeah, that's Lutaku. We'll go more into detail regarding that box when we get to unboxing it. Let's start off with Loot Crate. So this month's Loot Crate is actually a pretty damn small box, which kind of made me sad at the start, but then I thought, you know what? It's probably got some pretty damn good items in it then. It's actually extremely small as compared to most Loot Crate boxes. Um, it's about the size of a Super Geek box or 1UP box if you have been watching my videos. Anyways, this month's theme is Summon, and uh, yeah, there's supposed to be some Hearthstone stuff in here, so I'm excited for that. Okay, so starting off with, I actually did open this by the way, so there isn't a tag on this because I was so excited about it. We got a fucking adorable hat. Like seriously, how cute is this? It's Pikachu, I'm a 20 year old bearded man and I t immediately turned adorable. So yeah, no t-shirt this month unfortunately, but I think this hat makes it worth it. Next up we got a Hearthstone, like literally a Hearthstone. It's a Hearthstone stress ball and uh, yeah, I'm gonna open it up and tell you if it relieves my stress. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. Stress is just going away. Okay, this is confusing me. Um, we got a Chinese food inspired Simpsons box. It says, you buy very lucky. Yes, you buy very lucky. That's all it says. I'm morbidly cur curious. So opening up, we are greeted <laughs> with Homer Simpson as a Buddha on a golden donut. Like, it's all gold, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe it means good luck. His head actually swivels, so that's kind of nice. I don't- is this part of Simpsons? Did, did I miss an episode or something? Because I am really confused, but I do like it. I, I dig random figures like this, so pretty damn cool. Coming up next, we have a really heavy Supernatural die-cast car. I'm gonna open this up and see how good it is. Now, I don't watch Supernatural, so I don't know what this car is referring to in terms of the uh, show, but it is a 1967 Chevrolet Impala sports sedan. Um, so even if you aren't a fan of Supernatural, I think, you know, uh, anyone likes die-cast cars, well, any guy likes die-cast cars, and uh, yeah, this thing looks really freaking nice. So yeah, here's the car. It's actually quite nice. As you can see, the hood does open up. It is a model. Um, it does feel a little cheap, especially in the wheels, but uh, as compared to something like a Hot Wheels, it's definitely better, but not as good as um, a collectible car would be, for example. Overall, though, pretty excited for that. Next up, we got what I'm excited about, because uh, I'm a serious fan of the game. We got a Hearthstone code. Now, I've already done the code. I have opened up this box. There is a code on the back. You get one free pack. I was kind of bummed about that. I was hoping for a special card back or something. Now, you do get the Hearthstone coin, which is pretty damn cool. It's, um... Actually a real coin. It feels pretty good. Uh, I don't really know what I'd use it for, but uh, yeah, it's there. You also get access to Master Summoner. This is actually a free game, so I guess technically everybody does, but um, this is one developed right by Loot Crate, so I'm curious about that. Uh, you go to LootCrate.com slash Summon Book to uh, join it, I guess. And going on more to URLs more than anything, you go, there's another join the experience in the book at lootcrate.com slash summon. It's got, actually got cards over here that you can take off. Uh, pretty interesting, kind of intrigued by that. But honestly, guys, that's it in the Loot Crate this month, and I gotta be honest, it's pretty damn barren. Oh, of course, we got the monthly pin. So there you go, there's your monthly pin, the Loot Crate, September 2015 Summon. But honestly, there wasn't much for me this month. When they mentioned Hearthstone, I got really exciting, but I got a, a stress ball and one card pack. That's really not what I expected. Uh, I did get this hat, which I like, but it's definitely not worth the money of the crate. I guess it just depends what you like. Uh, a lot of these things didn't really appeal to me, so it depends on how you feel. Okay, next up, we got the one I'm most excited about, Super Geek Box. And we got two this month again. Look at that. Now, I will say that Super Geek Box is... Beating out the competition in terms of prices, I just actually re-looked up the prices for all these. Super Geek Box is $8.42 to $9.42 a month, plus shipping and handling of $6. As compared to Loot Crate, which is $11.95 to $13.95 a month, with $6 shipping and handling as well in United States. So compared to Loot Crate, this is a few bucks cheaper, and generally you get more. I'm excited to see what's inside, let's find out. Okay, in the first box, I got a suspicion that, yes, in fact, it is a shirt, so I'm excited about that. Um, let's see what's in the shirt. Oh, shit, there's more stuff in here, too. Hold on. Okay, so we got... Ooh. So we got a Kirby shirt with a bunch of different other characters on this. It says, today I'm feeling... And then it's got each character with their unique attribute. Of course, uh, Mario Super, Princess Peach is 
pretty, uh, Yoshi's hungry, <laughs> which makes sense, and it goes down the list. That's freaking awesome, I like this shirt. But, as with the same complaint as last month, on the back we got another Super Geek Box logo. God damn it, stop that. So we got a pretty damn cool sticker here. This one is a United We Stand Make the Plumber Pay sticker. I thought that was pretty damn cool, going from the enemy perspective in Mario. And we also got the exact same thing in, I guess this will be poster form. It's extremely small, I really wouldn't hang it up, and it's already bent, so yeah. And the monthly pin, which you probably can't see because my camera sucks, but the theme this month is Unity. Okay, so now we got that box over with, let's go to the bigger box. I'm excited to see what else we got. Okay, opening it up, we are greeted with a red interior. Usually it's orange. That's different. Okay, starting off with, we got a pop figure. Gotta love pop figures, we got a Despicable Me 2 Dave figure. There's also a few others in here, Gru, Agnes, Carl, and then Evil Minion. Uh, I'm happy with Dave because I love the minions, and uh, yeah, this is definitely going on the shelf. But yeah, usually I find with crate boxes they throw in the pop figures that aren't very popular. Despicable Me 2 is a pretty damn popular movie, so I'm excited to see that they're actually using figures that um, are very popular. So you can see, there he is, he's adorable. Uh, I'm assuming if you've ever seen a pop figure before, they're all very similar. Uh, very cute, well, well done, well painted, and very nice. Next up, we got a Hyrule University flag. It feels very cheap, but um, it is a very simple flag and very nice. And finally, something that's packaged. I'm going to assume it's glass, and I love glass. Oh, wait! Never mind! It's a shirt! I just want to say I love you, Super Geek Box, for doing... I think that's the second crate in three months that has two shirts in it and a figure for... What was it again? Eight dollars. Or sorry, nine to ten dollars a month. Plus shipping and handling, of course. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting excited. But we got a Squirtle Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt. How freaking cool is that? So my camera died because it hates me. But anyways, back to the shirt. We got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Squirtle shirt. Um, again, I don't really like white shirts, but that's just a personal preference of mine. It's fucking adorable, though. L look at that. How could you not like that? But yeah, let me reiterate. We got one pop figure, which is more than the box alone, and two t-shirts, plus a few other small items. I, l I love Super Geek Box way more than any other box so far. Okay, next up, we got the big one. This thing is freaking huge. Now, this is as... Now this is, as I stated, Lutaku. Now, I decided to do this one because it is actually from Hong Kong, and a lot of you guys have complained from Europe and Asia that you can't get these other boxes. So this one is really for you guys. It's actually really expensive as compared to the other boxes. Now it is actually 380 Hong Kong dollars a month, which is about $50 US. Now you might be saying that's a lot, but actually when it comes to shipping, uh, especially if you're trying to go overseas, these boxes become expensive very quickly. For example, in Canada, Loot Crate is about $30 as compared to the what? $18 you in the United States pays. I can only imagine overseas it's gonna be even more. So this is kind of an alternative for you guys overseas. Um, if you're crazy, you might want to do it in the United States as well. Uh, depends on what's inside, I guess. Uh, let's find out, shall we? So I don't know if I stated already, but this is actually last month's box. Opening it up, we actually are greeted with a laminated page. Fancy, and it explains every item in the box. Okay, where do we want to start? Let's start off with this thing. We have a plushy TNT for all you Minecraft fans out there. It actually has a keychain on it. Now, if you hang this off your keyring, you're crazy, because this thing's huge. But yeah, it feels good. It's it's a plushy TNT, and that's actually the first Minecraft item I found in a box, which is pretty damn surprising considering how popular Minecraft is. Next up, we have the Breaking Bad Heisenberg Collection vinyl figure. We got uh, a bunch of them to collect. You can see them all over here. Uh, I did actually already open this. As you can see, it's open from the top. Uh, but yeah, a Breaking Bad figure on uh, one of my favorite TV shows. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, so we got the actual RV. Look at this thing. This thing's adorable, and it is vinyl. It does feel pretty good. It's a little squishy. Um, it does have a hole in the bottom. So yeah, decent, but not great. And we got another pop figure. This one is Skyrim, so another very popular brand. We got a Daedric Warrior. Uh, vinyl figure. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Okay, this figure's actually got some really good detail to it. It's holding a, a little axe there, and as you can see, it is really well painted. One of the best pop figures that I've seen in terms of detail. That armor has a lot going on on it. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Skyrim. I know you can feel free to hate me if you want, but uh, definitely a very nice figure. Now this one actually surprised me. This is a World of Warcraft 2010 BlizzCon collectible. 
I guess they had a few left over and they put them in this box. That is a real collectible, guys. That's amazing. Now, it is a Deathling. You can see it on the back here. Uh, I'm really curious to check this thing out. Again, 2010, so it's five years old already. Uh, the box seems to be in pretty good condition, though. Let's see what the figure looks like. Okay, it looks like I have to put together this figure. The uh, actual wings are not connected right now. And here's the figure in all its glory. This is actually really nice. Uh, it's got a stand. It's got metal on the inside here where you connect it to the stand, so it is good quality. Um, and even if you're not a fan of World of Warcraft, this doesn't really scream World of Warcraft. This is just a nice little deathling. Um, the detail in this is phenomenal. This is the best figure I've ever gotten in a crate, so really happy about that. And I was curious to see how much they're worth. They're worth about $25. That's at least with current prices on eBay. It is a really nice figure, though. I'm definitely not going to sell it. I was just curious to see because 2010, that's pretty. That's a pretty long time ago. Next up, we have a Borderlands premiere issue, um, issue number one. It says $3.99. That's expensive for a comic, isn't it? I thought they were really cheap. Uh, but yeah, it's a premiere issue, Borderlands. So if you're a fan of Borderlands, I'm sure you might like this. I'm not a very big comic collector. I do like when I get them, though, because I know a lot of people do like comics. Uh, just not really me. So it's not very thick. Uh, it's got a few pages. The artwork seems pretty damn nice. It looks pretty good, actually. And moving on to the next one, we have another comic. Uh, this one's Random Damage Legend of the Seven. Uh, Lutaku exclusive. So even Lutaku has exclusives. Um, let's check out how this one looks. Now, this one feels really friggin' thin. Like, it's like... Well, maybe eight pages. Um, decent artwork. Looks pretty nice. I don't know what it's about. I'm not going to read it and give you guys a review of it, but uh, another comic. So if you're a fan of comics, Lutaku might have you covered. But yeah, that's it in this huge-ass box. There was actually lots of extra space, and I'm not sure why they did that with the crazy shipping you would pay if you're going from Hong Kong. Uh, again, I don't think this is worth it for people like United States and Canada, but if you are overseas, you might want to check the shipping on other boxes and see if this one's worth it for you. We did get that really nice World of Warcraft figure. Um, I'm really excited about that, but I would not pay $50 for this box where I currently am. And let's continue this Lutaku phase. We got another box here. This is actually this month's box, so I'm curious to see what's inside of it. Uh, packaging is actually good in this, though. Uh, I did mention that the boxes are pretty big, but they do definitely package them good. So we got another page here explaining what's in the box. Um, I don't know why they throw this on the top. Um, the fun of opening these boxes is a surprise, so I'm not going to look at this, but it does explain all the items. Okay, let's open this up and see what's inside. Ooh! We got some 8-bit glasses. These actually are really thick and feel really good. Um, I'm going to put them on, but I can't see without my glasses, so I'm going to take them off, but you can see... There we go, 8-bit glasses, I've always wanted a pair, now I got some. Oh, we got a stress controller. Uh, stress balls are popular this month, it seems. So yeah, it's a controller. It squishes. It relieves stress. I guess it's supposed to. I don't see how this makes stress easier. Um, yeah, don't know what I think about this. This is a dollar store item, not liking it. So, moving on, we got a Mega Man figure. This looks very similar to the Breaking Bad box. I wonder if it's made by the same company. Yeah, definitely the same company as the other Breaking Bad figure. So, again, it's going to be of subpar quality, at least in my opinion. Um, but, let's see what we got. <laughs> okay, I thought I broke the figure because the head popped off, but it's supposed to do that. So, don't freak out if your head pops off as well. Okay, I was more of a Mario fan um, as a kid, so don't get mad at me. I have no idea who this is. It is a very nice figure, though, actually. I'm really happy with this one as compared to the Breaking Bad one. This does feel very good. Again, I don't know who this is. I'm sorry. I could look it up, but uh, you guys are going to know regardless if you want to know. Um, it does feel really good. It does swivel extremely well. Uh, this actually feels better than, I would say, a pop figure. And the paint job is actually phenomenal. There's no bleeding anywhere that I can see. It just looks really, really good. Okay, next up we have a fragile item. It says, handle with care. And... Wow, this is actually extremely intriguing. Um, this is wooden, guys. Like, you can see on the inside, this is made out of wood. I mean, the attention to detail on this is phenomenal. You can see all the buttons. Um, they are, in fact, playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on it. This is freaking awesome. Oh, this whole thing is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I just realized that. Uh, I actually like just the attention to detail on the little knobs and everything. You can see there's little metal things popping out. Um, this thing looks really great. And finally, we have a Street Fighter mug. So yeah, opening it up, we have just a generic mug with all the Street Fighters on it. Feels like good quality. It's a mug. Uh, it's going to probably... 
And opening up, we have a mug with all the Street Fighters on it. Looks pretty good. Um, it is a generic mug, though. But it is pretty nice quality, as you can see. Uh, shows all the characters. And yeah, nice little gamer mug. So yeah, that's it for the second Lutaku crate. Again, guys, if you're from the United States or Canada, it's really hard to judge this on the price. It is $50. Um, there was some really cool items in there. I would say it's a good price if you are overseas, but I would not get it for myself personally. And hopefully, last but not least, we got the 1UP box. Now, this has always been a personal favorite of mine, simply because they always guarantee a shirt, and it's also one of the cheaper boxes. So, uh, getting a shirt is always nice, and uh, yeah, it's a cheaper box, so that's good as well. The theme this month was, I believe, Pixels, and judging by this box, yes, I am indeed right. So to start off with, we got a Minecraft plushie. This is a baby ocelot. It's pretty cute, I gotta be honest. I'm not a huge fan of Minecraft, but I'm sure a lot of you are, and a lot of you would like this little guy. Next up, we got a shirt, and I am definitely liking this shirt. This one is uh, bringing me back. It is pretty much an 8-bit inspired retro gaming shirt. We got Donkey Kong on there, Pac-Man, Sonic, Game Boys, I mean pretty much anything old school, Asteroids, uh, Super Nintendo, and of course it's Pikachu, and I don't know if that's Ash or it's just some random kid playing some games. So yeah, that's a pretty nice shirt, I uh, am a big fan of that, but once again, as always, they put their damn logo on it. I don't want to see box logos on my gaming shirts, that's so annoying. Okay, what the hell is this? This next item, I don't even know. Is this... Oh my god. It's an 8-bit rubberized tie, I think. I don't even know if I can get this over my head. Because I got a really big head. But there we go. We got an 8-bit tie. How cool is that? Um, now it's choking me. It really hurts. I don't like it. And sticking with the Minecraft, we got an It's Dangerous to Go Alone Minecraft Diamond Sword, though, it actually kind of confused me because I remember the Zelda sword being red or orange or something like that. Uh, but then I realized it looked like a diamond Minecraft sword, and there is a Minecraft guy in that, so I gotta assume this is Minecraft inspired. So yeah, it's just a Minecraft necklace. It's actually really good quality, though. Usually these things are really thin and they'll bend, but it's as you can see, it's pretty damn thick. It seems pretty rigid, and the clasp is even really nice as well. Okay, moving on, we have some 1UP Box exclusive 8-bit stickers. Uh, there's a lot of different little stickers on here, and they're actually kind of like 3D, so they are they seem to be high-quality stickers. Uh, I'm not a big fan of stickers. I feel like it's like filler content, so uh, not something for me personally, but there's a lot of things on here. you got different types of Spider-Mans, different types of Ninja Turtles. I mean, pretty much anything you can think of is probably on here somewhere, so that's pretty cool, I gotta be honest. Uh, in terms of stickers, these are some ones that I actually like. And we have an 8-bit Kirby. Um, I guess I gotta put this together, I don't know if I can, I'm going to do my best for you guys. Uh, no promises though. I fucking did it! <laughs> this took me longer than I'm willing to admit to make this little guy, but as you can see, it is a nice little paper mache little guy. Don't need any glue or anything, it's just got little tabs that you put in. I mean, it's pretty much idiot proof. You can make it. I mean, it's cute, but it's just paper, to be honest. Also on its fucking ass, it's got a 1UP box logo. Do we really need these logos on everything, guys? This is my biggest issue with the crates. 1UP box is really bad with it. Super Geek box is really bad with it. Shame on you guys. So that's it guys, another month of some crazy geek box unboxings. I gotta give it away to Super Geek Box again. In my opinion, that was the best box this month. We got two shirts. Hell, we got two boxes as well, and that's always fun. Anyways guys, as always, there will be links in the description for any of these boxes if you do want to subscribe to them. Sometimes I have promotions going on, different deals. So definitely check that description out if you are thinking about joining any of these. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.